I got it, I got it. Yo, yo, yo. Crypto Weekly Review here. I got the Louis on the right. I got the Burberries on the left. I got $3 trillion worth of cars. Got the Raptor, got the R8, got the Skyline. I got the bike. I'm looking like I won the lottery 10 years ago. I got $10 trillion worth of watches on right now. And mainly, I got the Hex.com watch I designed myself. And it's got the price tracker, giving it to the community for free. Oh, and one more thing. When you got the monster, you don't need this. Ah, yes, that is a parody of something that Richard Hart did, maybe just a soft troll. I did make a hex watch face with the price tracker. It's on Wear OS right now. It will be on Tizen soon. But hey, if you're not into hex, let's not waste any more time. Let's jump straight into the charts. You be all sus, yeah. I just doubled up on crypto. I just doubled down on a new vest. Now my chair looking like two checks. Type of money made me want a two step. Who next? This week, I be on the moon next. Stop going up like two X. That's a fast flip like suplex. Two real estate like a duplex. You bet never lose change, but I do flex. Bitcoin on the daily chart. Every single time we try to get a pump, we come right back down. I am now starting to see this sideways consolidation of Bitcoin as a descending triangle. However, I will admit that it does look like a weak example of one with a measured move down to about 26K. Either way, even if this is not a descending triangle, uh, Bitcoin is looking like it's going to take another tumble. Somebody won't tell me the world. Jamie Dimon, the CEO of JP Morgan Chase, said there is significant upside for crypto ahead. This is the same JP Morgan that had to pay $920 million for manipulating precious metals. I believe that was silver. And Jamie Dimon is no friend to Bitcoin. I, I could care less what Bitcoin trades for, how it trades, why it trades, who trades it. If you're stupid enough to buy it, you'll pay the price for it one day. So you think they can When the DOJ it? calls someone up and says that's an illegal currency and it's against the laws of the United States of land, if you do it again, we'll put you in jail, it's over. <laughs> the silver manipulator who got fined a billion dollars is saying that Bitcoin is 28% undervalued and the real price should be around 38,000. Okay. <laughs> That makes me feel like there's more downside to come and they're trying to find some exit liquidity. Oh, no. All right. So if it, uh, we could possibly dump to around uh, 22K right here. Now, that would be bad as ramen noodle time. But there's also the 377 exponential moving average. And that right there, folks, that's when you push your girl into OnlyFans. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. There's too many. Very pretty chocolate starfish. Hit me up. I have some amazing photos. Binance is taking over the world, licensing in Abu Dhabi, Dubai, France, and even targeting Germany. But now they have signed a deal with Kazakhstan, which is great because it isn't those assholes in Uzbekistan. This is my country of Kazakhstan. It locates between Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, and assholes Uzbekistan. Kazakhstan is a major mining hub for Bitcoin around the world, and this integration and partnership could make it a hub of cryptocurrency in the East. And on top of that, we had a nice little pump in BNB right here with a giant bearish engulfing candle. I mean, nothing, nothing can pump these markets right now. It looks like Bitcoin has had another nasty decoupling from the S&P 500. The S&P 500 did manage to have a 2% rally while Bitcoin had a nasty wick to the downside today. However, the S&P 500 is still in a daily downtrend. It did not make a higher high and it is rejecting the 21 exponential moving average. Not only that, but Bitcoin is also decoupling from gold. So gold, <laughs> Peter Schiff must have been right. I mean, gold is holding its value fairly well as an inflation hedge while us Bitcoiners are getting on food stamps. What do you have for breakfast? Food stamps. What do you have for lunch? Food stamps. What do you have for dinner? Food stamps. The Federal Reserve is on a crusade against inflation in the recent minutes that they published. They mentioned the word inflation 60 times. They are saying that the rate hikes will go further than the market anticipates. They're talking about 50 basis point rate hikes until inflation is at their target of 2%. Inflation is much too high. <laughs> Yeah, 
how high can interest rates really go before they break something? At 5% Fed's funds rate, it would take 40% of our tax revenue just to pay down the national debt. At 10%, there isn't enough tax revenue just to pay the interest on that $26 trillion. That's why I believe Jerome Powell is purposefully trying to crash the markets to reduce the amount of currency units that are chasing goods and services, bringing down prices. Okay, okay, Crypto Weekly Review, this is so boring. Okay, here's where I think the bottom is going to be. I believe it's going to be around the midterm elections. Actually, I think it's going to front run the midterm elections because the party in power wants to get reelected and wants the market to be pumping, okay? I think that they're going to make a capitulatory drop. They're gonna keep raising rates until something breaks and everything plummets. That's when you buy. That's where the temporary bottom will be, the little, Tiny pump that we're gonna get through December, that is my prediction. There is another cross current on the horizon that could cause a black swan event inside the markets because there is allegedly a leaked audio that reveals Chinese commanders planning mobilization for war with Taiwan, okay? Right now in this crazy clown world, this would be their chance to do it, their window to do it. They are mobilizing 140,000 military personnel 15,500 new military personnel. They have 38 aircraft and 64 ships. Everybody is worried about this invasion, especially when our fearless leader, Joe Biden, has stated that we will go to war with China over Taiwan. You didn't want to get involved in the Ukraine conflict militarily for obvious reasons. Are you willing to get involved militarily to defend Taiwan if it comes to that? Yes. You are? That's a commitment we made. That's a commitment we made. We are not, look, here's... I'm not sure I should believe that because he doesn't really sound very convincing or know like what the hell is going on as usual. But um, this comes on the heels of South Korea scrambling fighter jets as Chinese and Russian warplanes enter their defense zone. All right. So things are definitely heating up over the world. Looks like China and Russia are partnering. If... China does invade Taiwan. I mean, guys, if you want to see a market dip, I'm talking like COVID freaking dip. All right. So be careful out there. I'm glad I am fully diversified. Like, I think I'm good no matter which direction it goes. If it goes up, I can sell. If it goes down, I can buy. You know what I mean? And that's the beauty of it all. Hex on the daily chart. Look at my ascending broadening wedge and the measured move. It's almost actually following that trend line. I didn't move it. Hex is looking soft and limp. <laughs> Guys, hit the like button if you wish you would have seen my dozens of videos begging everyone to sell because I knew that the top was in. I sold at 45 cents and I sold at 39 cents. Just look at my previous videos. I will dig it up if I have to. Respect the TA, respect the daily downtrend, man. It is real. And really, maybe some of Richard Hart's antics don't help, okay? Um, right now, flexing in this kind of environment and showing off is probably not the best thing to do. But hey, who am I to judge, okay? He looks like he's having a great time, having a lot of fun, all right? And I want you to know, guys, I'm critical of Hex because I'm critical of everything, all right? I'm still a Hexican. I'm an OG Hexican, all right? And... um. If you were to be thinking about it critically as well, you probably could have sold 45 cents, all right? That's why we do this. That's why we do TA. That's why we don't do echo chambers. That's why I'm the Hex prodigal son, all right? I am the Hex counterculture. And I'm starting to think more and more that we are going to come down and test this point of control, this volume node right here at and around 007 and 2.2 cents, all right? I think this is where we're gonna come down. This is the largest volume node. This is the most hex that's ever been traded is at this level. So um, keep an eye out for that. I'll probably be buying down there if we make it down there. By the way, so uh, the hex watch, it is out. The watch face is out. You can, da you can download it for free. Um, I am putting a uh, link in the description to a ether address. You can donate if you like to. Me and my brother spent a lot of time on this thing. You don't have to donate. It is for free. And I have already given away free Hex, and I'm also going to give away a new gear watch so you can keep track of the price of Hex going down. <laughs>
<laughs> Anyways, guys, um, I will be doing that soon. I think at 2,000 subs is when I'm going to do that. Uh, so like and subscribe, join the Wolf Pack, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.